by the 25th of April, the world is going to end. If you like, take this serious. If you don't like, don't take it serious. But this is real. Rapture is coming on 25th of April 2024. I saw it very clear. Do you understand? I saw the date very clear and the Lord ministered to me. It mentioned it twice. It has happened twice. Do you understand? So I saw myself in a trance and well, that is a Nigeria pastor as at last year who prophesied that the world will hang the 25th of Jan of April of this month of this year 2024. And very unfortunately for the world, and unfortunately for him, we are still here. And to this date is 28, or possibly maybe it's tomorrow I'm posting the video, 29th, tomorrow. Today, this is 28th, Sunday of April, and we are still here. Now, we reach out to the pastor to confirm that, to ask him what then happened. Why are we still here? Why are we still here? He said that the God, that God chooses to pardon the world after he fasted for 21 days. He said the God, the God that created heaven and earth, chose to pardon the world after he fasted for 21 days. Did you know this pastor was even encouraging Nigerians to sell off their properties? This pastor was encouraging people to go to their bank account and donate all their money. Child, why is it that it's always pastors, 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 pastors? Because the word pastors is very easy. I can decide to just put pastor on my name, Pastor Adam Sling, and people will think I am automatically a man of God just because I put pastor on my name. People will think I read the Bible, I understand the Bible, I am God calling just because I put pastor. Do you see how easily you people can be confused and deceived? Once I don't put that word, Pastor, on my name, the next word you will say is that God said, Thou shall not touch his anointed. Just because I put Pastor for my name, oh. <laughs> automatically I have now been anointed by God. <laughs> because, okay, you know what? I think I might just do that. Let me put Pastor Adam Slink on my name so that you people will not abuse me any longer. Because that's, the, well, that's one of the craziest easiest way to deceive many of you and you guys still fall for it over and over and over and over again in fact you people love that word pastors you cannot live without hearing someone be called pastors because you are so blinded by it i'm talking about some of you me, me actually watch me too uh, some some people as well you guys want to know those same person name they put pastor Adams, because I use the word pastor that is so freely used, just because they call person Jesus Christ, does that doesn't mean that person do not do wrong thing. There are some people, there are some children nowadays they name Jesus Christ. They are currently in the club drinking and yeah. Just because they name somebody Abraham, Muhammad, they name somebody Muhammad, that doesn't mean the person cannot be an arm robber tomorrow. Yes, you know, I call the pastor, pastor, because you say pastor, the best thing. Hey, he's a man of God, oh, don't touch a man of God. Oh. This man called himself, I don't even know his name. He's a very stupid man. If he's a man of God, he's a stupid man of God. Yes, I said it. He's a stupid man of God. After God, I've told you. God only gave you signs of how you should be prepared. But God has also told us that just like the death that comes unknowingly to you, that's how the world will end. In fact, 
No single human being will talk about the word handy. No one will ever think about it. You just come like this. You will never be prepared for it. You see, you will never be prepared for it. He only showed you signs, and yet you guys are still being deceived by this kind of talk. Well, <laughs> why are we still here? Why the world over here now? For those of you who believed him and donated your properties, or possibly there are some you, yeah, 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 people like that. Oh. You, 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 you think the world is not as foolish as it is. The people in it, in it are not as foolish. You'll be so shocked to know that someone who listened to this guy's message indeed went to his or her bank account to withdraw the money and donate it to charity. You'll be so shocked. You'll be so shocked. Yes, it does, it does happen. You'll be so shocked. Somebody actually did that. You'll be so shocked. Just because a pastor they name, thou shalt not touch is anointed. How do you know my somebody of this age is anointed by God? How do you know? How can you tell? Did God reveal it to you? Eh? They say by their fruit, you shall know them. By their fruit, is their fruit not to buy private jet? Is that the way of the Lord? Is it not to walk above or uh, above others? Is that the way of the Lord? To walk above others? To see themselves above any other person. Is that the will of the Lord? Is that the fruit of the Lord? Well, let's move past that. Today is Sunday, and I hope you guys went to church. Eh? Pray for your loved ones. And uh, again, let's talk about uh, Udumeji. You know, eh? I'm beginning to think eh? uh, flavor. If flavor wasn't this popular, I would have thought that maybe flavor was kind of like looking for popularity from Pastor Dumiji. But Favor is a popular man, a well-known musician, respected one, sold millions of millions of records, well respected and a game on his kata. But now in the drag Dumiji pass. Like whatever like you can see flavor, every, everything written on Dumiji's body is flavor. Like flavor is the one pushing him to do some certain things. In fact, Flavor did a song for him, uh, A Bit of Shaker. And uh, I don't know the title of the music, but I think they have dropped the music already. But they want to drop the music video. And it's working with Flavor on the music video. And you see the Flavor dance step and everything. I'm not saying the dancing step are wrong. Oh. I'm not saying they are worldly musical. I'm not saying that though. But I've never heard of A Bit of Shaker than those that does a ska. Or whatever he's saying, I've never heard about it before. So to the Christians, brothers and sisters, tell me, I want you guys to enlighten me. Are those powers that to do me usually talk of? Are they part of you know, the God's power that we never knew? Eh? Are they part of God's power that we never knew? Hmm? A bit to shake that's now flavor just the push of do me to do it you know supposed to <laughs> and again let me talk about the ladies there is a tape that you guys are sending me of uh, do me of uh, someone apparently who looked like do me was licking the pot of an of a woman let me make this clear please please some of you are sending me that videos i've already posted it on the telegram already you can watch it there of someone inside kind of like look like Pastor Dumiji and there uh, was cleaning the pot of a woman, unknown woman. Please, eh? Please. I do not think that is Pastor Dumiji. Eh? That is not Pastor Dumiji. You understand? Please, eh? Someone said I should talk about it now, Pastor Dumiji. I'm talking about it now, but I'm talking about it, debuking it on his behalf. That that's not Pastor Dumiji. You understand? Maybe just somebody that looks like him from the side. From the side, understand from the side. You think like his part to do me the but that one will be him. Will be him. But the woman, the man be the settle down, clean the plate. You can watch this video, it's on my telegram at Adam Slink Media. You check it there and see the video. But I am very more convinced that that is not pastor or do me the how can the pastor? Somebody anointed by the man by man of God be cleaning somebody's spot like that. In fact, many pastors do not believe 
that they should they need to clean any pot for a woman. They do not believe. The fear is a taboo for, for a pastor to be cleaning pot like that. Well, let me know exactly how you feel, guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's a boy, Gabby. Link. Catch you next time. Peace.